We now are going to prepare the bladder for packing, but first we'll empty the air chambers in the floats and empty the nose cone air bladder. So I push in on the check valve and spin clockwise. Now that the nose cone air bladder has been bled of its air, we're going to go to the stern end of the floats and open those up as well. After releasing the air out of the tubes, leave the caps off in order to allow excess air to bleed out and then we'll be trapped in there. Once the air is drained out of the floats and the nose cone air bladder, we'll cover all parts, all connections, and start folding the bag. Okay, when packing the bag, we always want to drop these wing nuts. It's just too much of an abrasive point for when we fold the bag onto itself. So these all must be dropped down. As well as making sure that these small armatures are faced across the middle of the slug, not running longwise. and then we could cover it with our hatch cover. Now that we have the air chambers drained, the nose cone air bladder drained, all connections covered, we're gonna start folding the bag. There's seven handles on each side of the bag. Each have a 225 kilogram rating. These handles are only used for the folding of the bag, not for towing, not for mooring, only for folding. Okay, now for the folding process, we're going to start at the toe end and fold it towards the stern end. We're going to match up the nose cones.
Now we're gonna hook up the stern end as well as the toe end and fold the bag in half once again. Once you're tying off the ends, it's very important to keep your shackles at an even length. Okay, now we have our sea slug folded and ready for being put in the cargo net. The cargo net has a series of squares in it. Uh, the way to position it is if you have one row of squares on each side of the net. If you position your bag in the middle of those two rows, then it'll be perfectly centered. That's where we want it. I'm also going to use these cardboard cores in order to prop up each side of this bag, when I pick it up with my forklift, I don't leave any abrasions. This is going to give me just enough clearance to do that. Now with the bag centered into the net, we're now just going to, on all the soft eyes, we're going to put on the one and a half inch pin shackle. If perchance it comes up too tight because of the fold or whatnot where all the straps won't go onto the shackle, as you can see, there's no use struggling for it. We'll just pick this bag up, let it settle, and then there'll be plenty of room to attach these onto the one and a half inch shackle. Now that we have our sea slug into the net, we'll prepare the we've prepared the crate, we've had the lid off, we have the door removed, and now we'll place it inside. Okay, now our, that our slug is in the box, we're going to go through our parts, do a complete inventory of all our parts, one by one as we put them into the box. This will ensure that everything is there in case oil spill, practice, um, routine training. So we'll do a quick inventory. Okay, 27 inch buoy. 
with certified strap and quick link. Two inch D can. A four inch swivel, four inch elbow. Four inch male, male. Four inch male only. Check, check. Shackles. Three, one and a half inch shackle. Plus one. Drogue shoot, float, swivel. Six inch hand pump. Liner. Okay, fender, rope, stay locked. Can you put it on the on the uh, position? Yeah. Okay. Coming in. Okay, got it. Toolbox. Okay, all our patches. Knife okay. roller strap wrench. Glue with MSDS. Manual. All right. Four thirty ones. Okay. Change. Union. Union. Okay. Six. Uh, okay. Twenty four inch tie downs. Sixteen. 10 inches. Okay, only four inch, four ones. Okay. Three quarter inch, two three quarter inch wrenches. Check. Hammer. Check. Spare bolt. Check. And a Tapping rod. The air manifold and the navigational beacon will go in last because it's probably the least durable of all the equipment. Uh, there's glass, plastic, so we'll just put that in last just to protect it. That is all of our parts. Now we'll put the lid on and finish packing. So we've covered unpacking, we've covered the inspection process, the unattached components, the repacking, and the final inspection of 
unattached components. This will conclude the instructional video of the FCB C-Slug.